What is going on guys? Today's video is very interesting. I'm doing a throwback Thursday. This is something that I'll probably do maybe once a month, maybe. But essentially this is my very, very first fishing YouTube video. It's not even on my channel. You can't find it on my channel. It is private. But I uh, I put it in, I included it in this video. So there's going to be two things. This video, the first part of the video is going to be my very first YouTube video. The second part is going to be a Q&A with my girlfriend Macy, which got really interesting uh, fairly quickly actually. And that starts at this time. So if you just want to see the Q&A, you can skip the very first YouTube video part. Um, but yeah, don't don't make fun of me too bad. I'm putting this up because I know it's a, it's, it's a really bad video. If any of you guys are aspiring to be professional YouTube fishermen like myself, then this should give you hope because I, I hope your videos are not as poorly made as mine. And yes, I realize my hair is awful and my clothing is awful and that my cameraman puts his finger in front of the lens a lot. And then I, this was like 100% a plug for, for a sponsor. This is my very first sponsor. I don't think they're in even business anymore. So I mean, you can try to look them up, um, but don't try to get sponsored from them because I don't think they even exist anymore, which, which means obviously I didn't do a good enough job promoting them. But anyways, this is my very first fishing YouTube video of all time. So enjoy. Oh yeah. White squiddy, it's mangler. I just got uh, an order in this afternoon. That was my third cast. He's not that big. No. Oh. oh, nice. A bass. Oh, That's a good size. It's alright. He's not bad. A little small. Yeah. Oh, I got another one on a. There he is. A white squiddy. Oh, that's good one. He's small. That's alright. They're loving it though, that's for sure. Yeah. It's a nice size. He's small. Right. Yeah, about oh. what, 10 inches? Nah, maybe. That's just on another white squiddy. These things are killing it today. Yeah, they really are. It's got a silver blade on it, treble hook on the bottom. It's got like these tentacles, like squid or whatever. It kind of just runs like a spinner bait. Yeah. It's just in line and just spins. Very next cast on a squiddy. There he is. Dang. Very next cast from that last one. These things are loving it. This is by far my best bait for this lake. Let's get this guy out of here. This bait is such a killer. There it is. He's not that bad. They're small, but it's man, it's still it's still a lot of fun to catch him. There he goes. Especially with this squiddy. This thing is just killer. Half ounce squiddy, white, silver, spinner, treble hook on the bottom. It's amazing. Got it! Oh. Nice, dude. Oh, dude, he hits so close. Holy cow. These bass are spawning. They're right on the beds. Holy cow. Yeah, they're pretty close oh, today, aren't they? Gonna be tough. He's hooked right in the side. Man, they just crush it every time. It's nuts. This is what our fourth bass on this. Just More than tonight. That, isn't it? Oh man. We've only been here for about an hour, haven't we? Not bad. Yeah, we haven't been here that long. Not, really. Not long at all. Yeah, I got another one. Oh wow, he's wow. Another one on the squiddy. Squiddy's rocking them right now. Not at all. These guys are tough to get out. One thing is though, they don't, they won't come off by accident. These fish are stuck good. Oh yeah. Uh, hooks him right. Got another one hooked up on the squiddy. Stick. Yeah, stick. And a fish. Stick and a fish. <laughs> he swam here in the brush. There he is. Oh uh, wow. He's okay. Not About average today. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Six, seven? Yeah, six or seven. Ah. Just on this white squiddy. It's getting dark, so this will probably be the last time.
get started we are doing a Q&A this was highly requested by you guys so I brought her that's Macy so we've got we've got a handful of questions I asked you guys to ask them in a video a while back and then I kind of screenshotted a few of the good ones so we're gonna go through I don't know how long this video is gonna be <laughs> NJ all day says when she and she do you Serious? I can't answer that. Plastered <laughs> nut gaming? What the plastered nut gaming? Jimmy John's or Subway? Oh, for me? Yeah. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's all day, baby. Cameron Wood asks, why small fish? Well, Cameron, for those of you who don't know, fishing in the Midwest, no, not John B. Sometimes can be difficult to catch any large fish. A lot of you guys are from the south, like Alabama, Texas, Florida. Those fish are generally larger than the fish that I am around. Not, not making excuses or anything, but Rob was the one who originated the small fish concept. And he lives in Texas, which, I mean, I broke my PB in Texas, if that says anything about it. So he always thought I catch, caught small fish, but he didn't realize how tough the fishing was in the Midwest. I did take some tweets, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, tweet me questions. I'll try to get, include them in the Q&A. Jake Alexander asks, what is your favorite topwater lure? Easily the frog. Cam Basson asks, are you getting married to her? What's the best lure for fall pond bass fishing? So I'm gonna answer the fishing question and she will answer the other question. So I said, what's the best lure for fall bass fishing, pond bass fishing? Fall fishing is not all that much different from anything else, especially in ponds. I mean, I'm probably gonna go with the Senko, definitely. The Senko is just a good all around deal. Um. Well, <laughs> yeah, a lot of time before that. Next one, RJW Outdoor says, what is Macy's personal best bass? Do you even know? <laughs> I don't know. No, when we were fishing at my lake, remember I caught that really big one? I don't remember if it's in the video or not. I, I don't remember that at all, actually. It was like two pounds. Tucker Hall asks, how old were you when you started fishing? I started fishing when I was like three or four years old. My dad used to take me uh, fishing for panfish, and then I started getting into bass fishing and stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Next one, John Michael McNeil says, "How did how did Macy react when you told her you had a fishing YouTube channel?" Um, well, you didn't really tell me. <laughs> I can't even I you were the... super weird, though. The Masters Casters says, "For Macy and Flair, what is your favorite fruit? What is your favorite fruit?" Mangoes. <laughs> Mine's definitely pineapple. Uh, Asians Gaming 91 says, "What are your thoughts on Peric?" Peric's just a small dude, the big nose. He does a lot of dumb stuff that's funny. What do you think of Peric? I don't really know the kid. She doesn't know Peric. <laughs> I'm gonna invite everybody to where I live so she can meet the meet the Guggen Squad. Follow oh, the Guggen Squad on Instagram. <laughs> Follow the Guggen Squad on Instagram. It's the best Instagram fishing page out there. Read Con <laughs> Conklin. <laughs> What the? You almost made me say a dirty word, Reed. Reed Conklin Outdoors says, uh, what made you like Flair, Macy? Was it the hat? It was probably the hat. No, you didn't wear that hat. Definitely the hat. Met. I was wearing some awesome Salt Life board shorts, though, and uh, I'll toss that picture up right here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It's <laughs> a really sick fish. You Flores, 80 says, when you go to college, will there be the same amount of videos uploaded or will you decrease the amount due to time? So I'm going to answer a couple questions in one since there's people that ask. I do go to college. I'm going to be a sophomore in college. Will the amount of videos decrease? Possibly. Uh, it's my goal to at least do two videos a week. Right now I'm doing three, so it may decrease by a little bit. Um, but I'm, I'm still traveling. I'm going to do a lot of online classes, so don't worry. My channel will, uh, will still be there. Robert... Villain Nueva says, who's the biggest Guggen in the Guggen Squad? Well, like I mentioned earlier, the Guggen Squad is me, One Rod, One Reel, Lunkers TV, Peric, and John B. The biggest Guggen by far is Peric. Hands down, no questions asked, lettuce. Right. Garrett Smith asked, how did you two meet slash first date. So how we met was I worked at Shields, which is like a Dick Sporting Good Academy Gander Mountain type deal. And one of my friends that worked there said one of her friends are building a lake, is building a lake 
building a house on a lake. Were you building a lake? I was building a lake. You're building a lake. Building a house on a lake, and they wanted to go fishing, and they didn't know what they were doing, and she knew that I made YouTube videos and was really awful at fishing, but somewhat knew a little bit. So she invited me out, and the girl that was building a house on a lake happened to be that chick right there. So that's how we met. That was our first time we met was literally fishing which is kind of kind of cool i guess where was our first date noodles noodles so you know if you guys don't have three and a half hours. oh yeah i forgot about I that, get that three hours. oh yeah let me give you a quick rundown on that <laughs> noodles it's like a pasta place right we sat there for three hours and she asked me one question <laughs> and i asked her like 67 i could have told you her favorite color food book magazine movie type of grass nervous. that grows what's her favorite cloud cumulus i know the answer all right I was nervous. She was nervous. It was a disaster. Here's a fishing question for you. Sonic Merks says, what is your favorite lure to use in dirty ponds? Have a bite. Well, Sonic, it depends if it's it's a weedy pond or if it doesn't have any weeds. If it doesn't have many weeds, definitely a black and blue New Tech Crazy Jig. Does have weeds, a frog or a frog. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Tyler Mihan asks, how did you feel about Macy going to prom with another guy. No, you keep your mouth shut. He asked me. So, she's like, this Andrew Flair kid's not very cool. I'm gonna take some random to prom and just not tell him until like two days before. So you know what I did? I went fishing. That solves all of life's problems. Ulysses. Ulysses Mata, Mata asks, how long have you and Macy been together? Um, about a year and a month and a half. Ish, too something. too long. <laughs> Andrew Larkin asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much does AP make you want to kill yourself? You know, I can't answer that question. How long have you and Stacy been dating? Sam Lingle asks, why did you pick the girlfriend that you picked? Well, Sam, like I explained when we were talking about when we met, everything like that, she was building a house on a lake. So I don't think I need to explain it anymore. Tweet it at me, at Fishing of Flair, how many rods do you have? I don't have an exact number. My guess is probably 40, maybe 45. Blaze Tropics asks, Masisi, <laughs> does Andrew snore? Do yeah. I, I snore? Yeah. Last one, Classy Exile asks, how big is his <laughs> at Macy? Um, it's like 8.64 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> My PB is 8.64 pounds. Whoa, fly. Get out of here, boy. Whoa! <laughs>